Hi there! Today we're taking a look at the September release of Tiny10-21H2. This version is based off of Windows 10 Enterprise LTSC and is fully patched. This new release contains a number of much requested features and enhancements over the last release of Tiny10 which will significantly improve the usability of it. First of all, as you can see, the touch keyboard is now working. This means that Tiny10 can be used with old Windows tablets, which is great. Another much requested feature was the inclusion of a browser. As such, Microsoft Edge is now included in Tiny10. Another addition that will make Tiny10 much easier to work with out of the box is the inclusion of new accessories. The much requested paint is back, as well as snipping tool, narrator, and magnifier for those who need accessibility features. The remote desktop client is also included in the 64-bit release. By far, the most requested feature in Tiny10 was the inclusion of .NET 2.0 and 3.5 and I'm proud to announce that they are here in this release, so you shouldn't have any compatibility issues with most programs. What's more, DirectX 9 is also included, which makes Tiny10 perfect for old gaming machines. Overall, the September release of Tiny10 is a major improvement over the last release and it is a lot more refined and complete while still keeping the same low footprint as previous releases. If you want to upgrade to this release of Tiny10 from O1, have the option to use an in-place upgrade, which should keep all the files and programs intact. Keep in mind, however, that because Tiny10 is based on Windows 10 Enterprise LTSC, you'll need to activate using a volume activation, like KMS. Due to the nature of how the low footprint is achieved, Certain features like Windows Update or adding new languages are not available. This is because the Windows Component Store has been altered in order to achieve lower disk usage. You can download Tiny10 in both 32 and 64 bits and you will need about 10 GB of free space for a smooth usage. Well, that's pretty much it for today, I hope you enjoyed watching this video and let me know what you think about this new release of Tiny10. Thanks for watching, hope to see you around.